Nice. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Make sure to do the dishes. Just do it. Don't get cocky with me. Welcome. Am I interrupting something? Not at all. The cause of the runaway train incident in the subway the other day still has not been found. Police are hurrying to solve the matter as it may relate to the rise in psychotic breakdown incidents. Oh, is that the thing everyone's been talking about? Doesn't it make you curious? People who were living normal lives suddenly went mad or deranged out of the blue. Not to mention that it's happening one after another. Could they really be coincidental? Hmm. Leaving that aside, what do you have? Hmm. I'll have the house blend, please. Are you a part-timer? I'm surprised this place can afford one. Uh, what, no, not exactly. Are you a high school student? Where do you attend? Oh, someone I know goes there as well. I've heard that things are rough right now. A teacher named Kamoshida confessed his crimes like he was a completely different person, supposedly. And it happened all of a sudden one day. Can a person's mental state change so easily? Huh. <sighs> Is my drink ready yet? Coming right up. Today's the day we turn in that metal for cash. You know some place that'll buy it off you, right?
Hey. Hmm. See ya. What were those detectives doing there? More importantly, aren't you curious about what's in the bag? There's no harm in a little peek. Come on, let's open it up. A real gun? Wait. I think it's just a model. It's incredible, though. Miles ahead of the one Ryuji had. There's something weird about that place. Hey, I just had a great idea. We should totally buy this gun from him later. I mean, it's perfect. Something this real looking would work wonders in the metaverse. Anyway, he told you to bring it back the next time you came, right? You should try striking a deal with him when we go to return it. Oh, hello, it's me. I saw the news, you know, about Kamoshida. It's getting a lot of coverage. Action's been bigger than what I was expecting. I guess I'm just surprised. I don't think we did anything wrong, though. I wonder if we helped those people speak up about it. <laughs> That's pretty amazing, huh? I didn't think we'd actually be able to do it. And yet, look at us now. This calls for a celebration. Let's meet in front of Shibuya Station at noon tomorrow. Don't be late! Oh, and did you pawn off that medal? You didn't forget, right? Huh? Why? Oh, I get it! It's because you sold it for a lot more than we were expecting, isn't it? You should be really excited about the place I chose, by the way. I'm sure everyone's gonna love it. Well, see you guys tomorrow! 
Ah, a restaurant of Lady Anne's choosing. Finally, a decent meal. Hey, what do you think we're gonna be eating? Ooh, tuna, sea urchin, and maybe even salmon roe. In any case, I'm surely looking forward to it. <laughs> hey. Oh. <laughs> so good. No wonder Lady Anne chose this place. Of course it's good. This is a famous hotel after all. Oh yeah, I heard that the police are coming to interview some people at school. That's troublesome. Our names are gonna come up for sure. People are spreading all sorts of rumors about us and Kamoshida. But we got him pumped up. I keep hearing stuff like the Phantom Thieves really stole his heart. I think most people don't believe it, but some of them actually seem grateful. Look at this. The Phantom Aficionado website? Well done, Phantom Thieves. Now I can keep going, too. Thank you for giving us hope. Pretty cool, huh? I was just desperate to deal with my own problems, but seeing people saying all this feels... strange. Yeah. Hey, what do we do now? You're totally right! We only got an hour to eat! Just 50 minutes left! Oh, I'm not gonna finish all the beef dishes at this pace! I need to eat my way through the entire dessert menu! Look after our stuff. We'll snag some for you guys too, don't worry. Oh man! God melts in my mouth! Seriously? Only meat? Now, where should I start? And she's all about the cake! So happy! <laughs> hey, calories. Shut up! How much do you think one of these costs? I'll never get the chance to do this again! Mmm, the Wilton Hotel Cake Buffet! I'd heard rumors, but I never thought it'd be so amazing! <laughs> and 
Where's our share? I didn't really know what you'd want. So I just grabbed you some beans. B beans? There were some pretty bizarre things there too, so we got you a variety of those. Fried bananas, preserved eggs, and some kind of beans. M more beans? We put so much on the plate that it got all mixed up. But it should probably still taste good. This is just plain grotesque. Let's go. These two just don't know what fine dining means. We'll show them. Leave it all to me. You guys watch our things while we're gone. Wait patiently for our return. Hmm. Oh, it's like a meaty explosion in my mouth. Oh, this part's cream cheese! They're not even listening. As I'd expect from the buffet at a top-class hotel. The ingredients and variety of dishes are crazy good. There's a reason it costs 8,000 yen. They have a lot here, but fish should come first. Let's fill our plate with all sorts of fish. Which table do you think they're at? great too. Have you heard, my dear? The news about that Kamashita fellow was absolutely dreadful. Oh, right. That teacher at Shujin Academy? Caught doing such indecent acts. Shameful, really. Hold on a sec. And they still haven't managed to solve those horrible psychotic breakdown episodes, have they? Oh, I wish they wouldn't let themselves be distracted by such a tawdry scandal. Perhaps it's a sign of how peaceful this country is. I honestly pity those poor Shujin students, though. Hmm. It sounds like the Kamashita incident is the talk of the town. Hmm. Shoot! They noticed you! Just grab some food and act natural. On the plus side, we'll get to eat the food later. How did a child like this end up in here? I certainly hope he didn't bring friends. I prefer my meals to remain hooligan-free. Thank you very much. Come, let us go. What's so bad about kids coming to enjoy a buffet? Hmm. I wonder how the other people here are reacting to the news. Maybe there are more people we can eavesdrop on at other tables. Hmm. I wonder how the other people... Ah, meat! I'm no Ryuji, but a meal is just not the same if you don't have any... I got distracted. When you really look at it, he's just an ex-athlete who overestimated himself. He should have just accepted his lot in life and quietly done his job as a teacher. It's not even an incident we can take seriously. The whole story is pretty ridiculous. We should probably look into it, but we can also just let the low-ranking scrubs handle it. Look into? I guess they're investigating Kamoshida? They don't sound very enthusiastic about it, though. Hmm? Yeah! Grab some food! Ah, get the part that's not too fatty. It's gonna be arriving soon. 
We don't want to keep him waiting, so we better get going, too. What is he going to discuss with the higher-ups? Well, I'm sure it's more important than lunch. You were dressed quite well, but they still looked pretty shady to me. Hmm. I wonder how the other people here are reacting to the news. Let's get some more food and listen in. It looks even bigger and more delicious. This giant sweet. I got distracted. News travels quick. It's already all over the internet. You know, the story about how Kamashita got his ass kicked by some world reforming heroes. It doesn't sound like a serious story to me. Some of the details are pretty far fetched. Don't worry about it. We just have to do what they tell us to do. It's all rumors made up by school kids anyway. If it's gripping news, who cares if it's not true? So they don't believe themselves, but they're making up stories to make the Phantom Thieves seem real. And they're doing this in front of the actual Phantom Thieves. Hmm? Whoa, act fast and get some food! And make sure it's got a lot of whipped cream! What's wrong? Ah, uh, nothing. I thought some weird kid was looking at us, that's all. Why don't we go? It's almost time for the meeting. Well, that was rude. Did you hear him? He said you were weird. Hmm. I wonder how the other people here are reacting to the news. Let's get some more food and listen in. cornerstone of every great meal! Sorry, I got a bit carried away there. So, the ratings for the news were really that good? It was because it was about that teacher who sexually harassed his student, huh? Was it Kamoshida? It's all about how you frame it. You've got to cater to the idiotic public. Ratings go up when you show them crude, sensational news and make it easy for them to understand. How can he be so insensitive? A student almost killed herself because of that Kamoshida. By the way, do you think these sudden changes of heart might be real? Well, that's... Hmm? Quick, grab some food! Oh, and don't forget the crispy bits. So, because he had a sudden change of heart, he just confessed to all his crimes? <laughs> Who knows? Sorry, but it's time. I have to go. I'll call you again after the meeting. A sudden change of heart, huh? I suppose I can't blame him for seeing it that way. Don't think there's anyone else we can listen in on. But it's shocking. So many of the adults here don't seem like nice people. Now, according to what we heard, it seems most adults aren't very interested in the news about Kamoshida. Well. Now that we've got a nice variety of food on our plates, let's head back to the others. <laughs> you brought a ton back! What do you think about coming up against such ritzy food? <laughs> it's cute hearing that from someone like you. It just don't get too excited, got it? You're the last person I want giving advice about that, Ryuji. Don't you think you're eating too much, Mona? Mm. There's no... Mm. Knowing when we'll get to come here again. Sure, but you guys brought back loads of food. It'd be a shame to let it all go to waste. Why don't you help them out, Ryuji? Well, we should both help. Oh, me? I'm way too stuffed. I couldn't possibly help. Yeah, stuffing your face with cake. Whatever, let's deal with this ourselves. There's still more? Don't give up. Let's keep at it. 
We, we did it. Oh yeah. This is a victory for all of us. Oh, is your stomach the size of a freaking palace? Good job, you guys. How about one last dish to cleanse your palates? I recommend the seasonal tart. The grapefruit has both alluring sweetness and a tangy sourness. Uh, stop. I don't want to hear about sour stuff. Uh, this isn't good. I gotta go to the bathroom. Well, me too. Please carry me gently. My, look at that table. Come now, pay them no attention. I'm sure they must not normally have the chance to eat such exquisite food. I can only imagine what their parents must be like. What was that? We don't got time for that. Come on, let's go. Ugh, I'm stuffed. I totally panicked when I saw the closed for cleaning sign at the bathrooms. You were talking big about eating until you puked, but you really did puke. Are you some kind of moron? Hey, same goes for you. What floor was that restaurant on? We came up to get here, so it has to be on a lower floor, right? What the? There's still no update on the case. Not yet. Excuse me, but why are you so involved? It's not something you should be concerned with. I don't care about your opinion, you incompetent buffoon. When I say pick up the pace, you do it! Hey, you're cutting in line! What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? We're in a hurry. Oh, I'm sorry. So you can butt in front of other people if you're in a hurry? It seems the customer base has changed since I was here last. Have they started a daycare? What? Sir, we don't have time for this. I know. Don't bother with them. Guy. Shouldn't we head back down? Yeah, but... That dick really pissed me off. He wasn't even hiding the fact that he looks down on everyone. Don't lose your temper over this. I just can't forgive shitty adults like that. wrong you not feeling good he almost never eats well after all plus I'm always stuck eating canned cat food yeah that sir bullshit makes me sick damn it So long. Why are you all pissy? Sorry. I had a run in with some woman a second ago. She bumped into me, but then said it was all my fault when she dropped her plate. <laughs> so 
sounds like a real bitch. Yeah. Thanks, though. But... The restaurant workers all looked at me with this disapproving expression. I wonder if we're out of place here. Hey, Morgana. What is it? Anyone could have a palace, yeah? Anyone with a strong, distorted desire. Same for them having to change a heart if their treasure gets stolen? That would be the case. Why are you bringing this up all of a sudden? We had trouble earlier, too. These selfish shitheads who just look down on everyone else. I was just wondering if we'd be able to change those kinds of people, too. You mean, you want to continue as the Phantom Thieves? I've been thinking. We put a lot of work into changing Kamoshida's heart, but nobody believes in the Phantom Thieves. Plus, those guys who had no other choice but to just deal with it are thanking us. Us, of all people! I... I agree. If we ignore people who are in trouble, I'd go back to being the same as I was before. Well, that's true. You're under my tutelage. There's nothing we can't accomplish as Phantom Thieves. Shouldn't we be able to help him out? But... That means we'll have to fight Shadows again, doesn't it? Indeed. That can't be avoided. Eh, I'm sure we'll manage. <laughs> right? Even if you guys are still just fledglings, this means we're an actual organization now. Fledglings? <laughs> That's actually pretty fitting for us. All right, it's settled. We're gonna catch all these shitty adults by surprise and make ourselves known to the world. Are you okay being our leader? No objections here? I can't handle all that responsibility stuff. Where's my say in this? But Lady Ahn made the recommendation, so I'll allow it. Well, should we decide on a name for our group? I just went with Phantom Thieves of Hearts last time, but don't you think a real name would be cooler? Ooh, I've got it. I want it to be something both cute and luxurious sounding. Let me see... <gasps> How about the diamonds? <laughs> I'm getting the real Little League Baseball feel from it. Well then, here's my suggestion. How about Tilefish Poilet? Tile... uh... what? That's what I ate earlier. It's commemorative, no? No, you idiot! Uh, you decide for us.
not bad at all. A good name for a rookie. We going with that? Well, now that the name's set, who's our next target? There are tons of rotten adults and all. Why not just stick to targeting big names? Yeah, something along those lines. If we go after some bigwig, it's gotta get on the news, right? Don't you think more people would believe in us if we did that? That's not a bad idea. For you, Ryuji. True. If we become better known, we might be able to give courage to a lot more people. I don't really like the idea of just picking someone out of the blue, though. Let's narrow it down to someone we can all agree on, then. Hmm. So we need a big wig we decide on unanimously. I like that unanimous decision part. It's like we're making some kind of pact. Now then, this is the official formation of the Phantom Thieves organization. Oh no! Our time for the buffet ran out. I guess we'll just have to talk more tomorrow. Another world in which people's distorted cognitions take shape? Stealing treasure to change hearts? And on top of that, a talking cat told you all this. Honestly speaking, that all sounds absurd. It's hard to believe that this is even worth listening to. Still, it can't be considered nonsense when parts of it align with Kamoshida's confession. The same goes for the testimonies of the officers who arrested you. But so be it. At any rate, you mentioned something more important. These two other accomplices, besides this talking cat thing that appeared in your story. From what you've been telling me, they're students at the same school, aren't they? Perhaps? Don't take me for a fool. Very well, I'll leave it at that. Let's continue on. The questioning's not over anyway. If you are making this up, the cracks in your story will prove it. The next to receive a calling card was this individual. A master of Japanese arts, Ichiryusai Matarame. It's even more incomprehensible than Kamoshida as to why this man was targeted. Where did you come to know him? And how did you learn of his crimes when you weren't a victim of them? Start by telling me what you all schemed. 